y'all, my name's Reese. Welcome to or back to my channel and this is Sunday Sit Down. <laughs> Okay, so I'm well aware that I'm posting this on Monday. I'm filming it on Sunday. I'm so sorry. I forgot to film last week. So I'm just filming it today and I'm posting it tomorrow. I didn't want to like rush to make something last night and then just post it today just because I wanted to post on Sundays. So I'm posting it Monday, but happy Sunday anyway. <laughs> so first of all, I'm in my car because the lighting is always weird in my house and my family's always making a lot of noise last week. That was like really distracting, at least to me. I don't know if it was to y'all, but it was to me. So I decided to come sit in my car today. Um, I'm not going anywhere because social distancing, stay home, please, please, please stay home. But I'm just sitting in here so that I can focus more. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about, as you can tell from the title of the video, starting where you are. So I know that at least for me, when I really started to get into the word and really started to want a relationship with God and realized that that's something that is necessary and something that I needed, I was looking at like my siblings and my friends that were really deep into it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want that. I want that so badly. And I do, I did, I, st I still do, you know, but I was trying to start where they were and they were already ahead of me like my sister goes to a bible college and so I would see her getting into the word and learning all these cool things and I wanted to learn that so I would try to start where she was so I would get way too ahead of myself I'd get stressed out confused and it was a mess and it just didn't go very well because I was trying to go at her pace when I should have started at my own pace and figured out my relationship with God because your relationship with God and someone else's your sisters your best friends your brothers your parents it, none of no one's relationship with God is the same. So I was trying to start where my sister was or where Lawson was or something because they are people that I look up to in their relationship with Christ because their faith is so strong and it's just so amazing and it's so cool to look at. I was like, I want to be like that. I want to be that close to God. And I really struggled with that for a while because I would try to do whatever they were doing. Like if Lawson was doing an entire study, I was like, okay, I have to do a study. I need to do a whole thing. That's how I'm going to get close to God. And it's not a specific thing that you can do. You just have to start where you are with the understanding that, hey, I want to get to know God. I'm going to do whatever I can to get to the point where I want to be. Today we're going to be talking about starting where you are but continually striving to where you want to be. So I'm going to focus on one verse today that it really helped me out when I was starting my journey with God and everything. I tried to start to build a relationship last summer because a lot was going on in my life and I got somewhere. I did. I was starting to actually read my Bible. I read through Hebrews which by the way, Hebrews is amazing. And I just, I was really getting into it. And then I went through a funk and it really, I I hadn't read my Bible in a while. And then on Christmas day, I got a new Bible and I was like, Reese, you're doing this. And so I started reading it. And one of the first verses that I found was Zechariah 4.10. I love the NLT version because it is mo the most clear to me. And it says, do not despise these small beginnings for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. And I just felt so much peace and understanding and I felt okay with my relationship with God at that point because I knew that I wanted my relationship with him to be bigger and stronger and tighter and greater but I wasn't there yet and it was really hard for me to see the finish line and to see where I was heading you know because I was like I'm so far away from it right now that's what it felt like but that verse says do not despise the small beginnings because the Lord rejoices even in the small beginnings wherever you are if you want to have a relationship with God you can do that you can you can I mean I was just like hey I'm gonna start reading my Bible every day and I tried to do that and sometimes I still don't because we're not perfect we're all human and we we mess up a lot I still forget to read my bible sometimes I forgot to do a video this week you know things like that it's okay to start wherever you are just don't forget where you want to be and if you keep that in mind and if you slowly build on whatever you're working on and whatever you're working towards then you're gonna get there <laughs> you will eventually it's kind of hard at first but you do get there I just think that verse is really it was really important to me because it made me realize that I didn't have to be my sister I didn't have to be loss and I didn't have to be my parents and my brother because they have they all have great relationships with God, with God and stuff and they're people that I look up to and I realized that it's okay to look up to them but don't try to be them don't try to have their relationship because you can't everyone's is different and that's okay start where you are and just strive to where you want to be keep your goal in mind and then when you reach that goal just keep going just go further that's the amazing thing about a relationship with God is that it doesn't stop when you reach a certain point and you think oh this is great don't just stop because it's great keep going because 
actually can get even better, which is the most amazing thing ever and the craziest thing to think about is that if you think it's good now, it's just going to get even better. And if you go through a funk, it's okay to go through a funk. It's not it's not the best, but it's okay if you do, you know? I mean, I look back and I I remember being in a funk and just not reading my Bible and it sucked. <laughs> it really did. It really like it stinks when you're not in the word and everything because it's so amazing to be in the word and invested in it and learning about it. It's so interesting. And it's so cool that we can have a relationship with God by reading the, the Bible and things like that. The ultimate reason for having a relationship with God is so that you can get to know him personally and then you can better share the word with others and hopefully see your loved ones in heaven with you. Like if you're a believer and you have a relationship with God, you can share that with your family members that may not believe. And if they choose to believe because of what you share with them, that is an amazing thing. That is so so amazing and you know that then you can spend eternity with them and so yeah just don't despise the small beginnings because the lord rejoices to see the work begin he rejoices in the small things no matter how small it may feel <laughs> i felt like i was doing nothing when i started i've realized that it, it can start with seemingly nothing and it can grow into something beautiful and amazing so wherever you are start working on your relationship with God. I really want to encourage you to do it. If you've been thinking about doing it, hopefully this can be a sign that you should. <laughs> you might feel like, oh, I'm not good at it. There's nothing to be good at. Like, you can't be good at, like, reading the Bible, I guess. You know, you just read it, and you pray, and you talk to God, and he'll reveal whatever is supposed to be revealed to you. I hope that this video was helpful, and I hope that it made sense, <laughs> because I know I can be kind of confusing sometimes. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope it meant something to you. I hope it was a whole help helpful. I don't know. That's just what I felt like I was supposed to share this week. Have a beautiful day. You uh, Have a beautiful day. Have a wonderful day. You're beautiful. That's what I was trying to say. Um, because you are. You're amazing. You're awesome. You're loved by God, whoever you are. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you back next time when I post another video. I'm so terrible at outros. Oh my gosh. <laughs>